Okay, I had to take the top off my machine and uh, going in and taking this opportunity to show you the power distribution here. So my power in feed comes in through this box and you can see the red and black cable. I have a just a connection box here for a junction box for distributing that power throughout. So it comes over here to an unswitched outlet which is used in case I need power. I have that capability from the outside here without having to uh, connect somewhere else. My power switch is on the front of the box which uh, turns on a couple of things. One thing it turns on is this switched outlet and I have it switched so that I can put my lights on that I use when I'm um, using my machine and not have to worry with um, turning them off each time. It just makes it easier. It also turns on the two drive power supplies and with a stepper motor you have a drive and then the drives have to get 24 volts. So these are 24 volt power supplies. Each is 5 amps. I could probably get away with um, one of these for each two stepper motors but I didn't want to have any overload and they're not terribly expensive. So I think a stepper motor drive and one of these power supplies is about $65. So I mean you could do it if you needed to. You will also notice here that the power going into the PCB board uh, comes from the first power supply also. Okay. Okay. The power from the two power supplies comes in on these red and white cables and they go into each of these two drives. The left drive is going to be for spindle 1, which is used to drive the spindle. Drive 2 is a stepper motor that will be used for uh, driving along the z-axis when I get it hooked up later. As I can drive four stepper motors, I'm going to have drive three and drive four in this same area. There's a different design that doesn't use these external drives and it mounts the chips onto the printed circuit board, but I chose this option. Um, it just seems simplest to me and when the least heat buildup, but there are pluses and minuses to all options. Okay, this is the printed circuit board for the Rose Engine controller. It was developed by John. McGill and a number of the guys out on the west coast. So what I'm going to show you here is how I've mounted it in my box. The power in feed comes in here. That came off the power supply I showed earlier. What comes out of here is the connection to the display and I'll show you that in a second. And then the first output for the spindle control is this one in drive one which goes to that drive which controls the stepper motor. This goes to drive two for the z-axis, which would control that stepper motor. Okay, the last piece in the electrical circuit is this backside of the HMI display. It's a Nexteon, N-E-X-T-I-O-N, I guess that's pronounced correctly, 4.3 inch display. I used a rubber gasket to minimize the amount of uh, dust that would get into this box, and so far it's working well. But at the end of the day, it is an interesting one to mount because it's not uh, squared up with the screws, so you have to cut the hole at a very odd angle. Uh, the details behind all of these things are on John Mickle's website. I'll put a link to that. But uh, this is just wanted to show you how I wired mine up.